Hey guys, what's up? It's James here on my myth. Just doing an update video today because uh, I have school tomorrow, so that's gonna be the strug and the hype at the same time because it's really good to get out of the house. But um, just wanted to talk to you guys about stuff that's been going on with the channel and what's going to happen really soon. Aside from the fact that you guys know that Death Legend Peep is coming up really soon. I haven't really created the character yet, but I'm going to get on the grind when I do finish my myth. So, watch out for that Death Legend Peeve and Myth Max Peeve really, really soon. Um, I can actually do it now and pre-record some so that when I uh, get off of school, I can upload some for you guys to watch on and off. But um, the gear that I do have at the moment, so that if I do decide to go into PvP, um, I do have make do stats. And what that means is stats that I can run with and not get crit on and still win matches basically but uh, it's not the best gear that I can have so my stats will look better once I have all the gear but uh, yeah the rundown of the gear that I do have I have the Mali hat the Sultan's robe which is better for myth than the Mali robe and I'll explain why later um, my boots which are failed I don't have Mali boots yet but I'll be running DM a, uh, a couple times again today so hopefully I can get those I do have the eye of the soothsayer wand and I also have um, the Mali wand, which I hope I don't get another one of, because it's kind of the struggle to get like two wands, and you don't want them. So, stitch that. Uh, I have my failed Ami, which took me a while to get. I actually did not get it in part one and part two. I got it from Malastare, so that's a drop. My Duelist Daredevil ring. My block pet, as you guys know, from the Pets Omega. And my Pip deck, which I socketed for four accuracy. So, as of right now, these stats are looking pretty solid. We have 93 damage, and this is Pierce wand, by the way. I can show you guys my stats uh, in a little bit with um, my uh, I have the suits there but 93 damage pretty stable 40 resist resist isn't needed for a myth but it's still good to have if you're going up against someone with uh, low pierce uh, 29 accuracy which is really good for not having robe you need that accuracy uh, makeup so I socketed my pet with accuracy and my deck and my Athane with that 10 accuracy so that's really really good uh, need that accuracy and power pit percentage if you're running um, the setup that I'm doing too so I have the suits there if I start to get like scrub pips a lot i might switch to the eye of the soothsayer which gives me 93 i think power pit percentage but uh pierce wand is still good for that piercing damage which you really need as a myth and block is really needed but 332 crit 336 block and that I, that actually can go up if i have my mali boots and then 44 pierce power pit percentage everything else is pretty stable so, so as of right now pretty much all, all i need as a myth is block um, accuracy because of balances and lore spam and damage. So that's looking pretty solid right now. <clears throat> but um, as I was saying before with the robe, the Solon's robe is kind of better than the Mali robe for reasons being that it gives block. Uh, it doesn't give as much health, but it gives um, pretty much the same damage. I have a failed robe right here that gives um, 18 damage and this gives 19. Now aside from the accuracy lost, my setup allows me to still have <clears throat> I'm sorry, about 30 uh, 30% accuracy, so that's pretty stable for not having robe. And I socketed my Athame and my pet, so stats are looking pretty stable without amulet and without some of the uh, crucial components to doing max peeve. So I could still win against a pretty good player with the stat setups that I have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the eye of the soothsayer setup. Um, I can have 103 damage, resist stay the same, accuracy stay the same, 340 crit this time, and 350 block. So, fires that have a base of 400 block will not be landing on me much at all. If they do, it's like the luckiest crit of their, of their uh, week, pretty much, or their month, year. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's, like, really, really good. And then if I get amulet with um, this, and I actually get my Mali boots, because Mali boots give 100 block, I can be rocking 400 critical and if I craft my deck and um, what else is needed for that crit to go up? Well, actually, no, because the Emmy gives crit. That's right. The but um, if I do get the amulet, my block will go up to 300 and well, no, my bad, 410. If I get my Mali boots and uh, I get the Emmy, so 410 block to 300 and possibly 70 crit. So 370 to 410. That's pretty op stats as far as the advanced character statistics for myth and maintaining 35 peers it's pretty op and then my power pit percentage actually goes up and then damage 100 resistance 40 
accuracy pretty much 30, I'll go farming for that 10 accuracy so I can socket my deck with something better than 4%. But yeah, stats are pretty much solid for the most part. I can actually go in PvP right now for you guys, but um, I do want to see if I can get my Mally Boots so I can raise my block up to, what, 370 block? Or 360, rather? Close to 370, or it might just reach 370, actually. That's a lot of block for a myth with no amulet. So I kind of got a lucky on my end. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the vid video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you're excited for that Max Myth P really soon. I'm sorry I have to cut the video short. My friends are uh, dumb running Morganser. We're about to go run Darkmoor. And uh, wish me that Mally boot luck because I need my boots to peeve for you guys. Stats pretty stable. Character pretty stable. Myth Peep coming up really soon. Still got to farm Gladiator for that Amber so I can craft um, Keeper of the Flame. But once all that is down and packed, I can peeve. Uh, record some video for you guys. And... Oh, one thing I do want to say before I end the video is my upload schedule. Um, it's going to be kind of chopped, really, because school is like tomorrow and everything. And mainly that's everybody's priority as a kid going to school again. So now that summer's off. But um, um, my upload schedule will either be Tuesday and Thursday or... Uh, Wednesday and Friday so uh, if I don't upload Tuesday I'm definitely gonna upload Wednesday if I don't upload um, Wednesday then check back on the channel for the video on Tuesday and then so if I upload on Tuesday then a video will go out um, Thursday and if I upload Wednesday then a video will go out Friday so that's the upload schedule um, that's gonna be you know happening soon so just watch out for that, and thank you guys for sticking around on the channel. Myth Peeve really soon. Death Legend Peeve in the future. In about a month, I'll have my death up and running at full potential because I still have to farm Zigzag and everything once I get him to 66. Craft his boots, has a theme and ring and everything. So, so still got to get those. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching until the end of the video. If you do, drop a like if you're excited for that Myth and Death Legend Peeve really, really soon. Um, I actually went ahead and mega another death pet. I didn't do a pet to mega on it because I didn't think it would get the stats that I wanted. And it didn't really, but I can still socket it for a decent pet that I can use at a lower rank. So, I'll feature that when I do get my death um, to where it needs to be for Legend PvP. But, uh, so yeah, if you guys are hyped for that PvP soon, Death Legend and Myth Max really, really soon. Go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more PvP videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!